The oceans we have on Earth are as immense as they are deep, hosting a plethora of incredibly diverse life. Today, we are going to talk about a bizarre yet fascinating phenomenon that takes place in the same mysterious depths. Meet Chamathoa exigua, a small but extraordinary creature with a remarkable survival strategy. It's also known as the tongue-eating isopod, and that's for a good reason. They are the only known animal to replace a body part of another in both form and function. Chimothoa exigua is an isopod, same like any crab or lobster, and it's a fish parasite. These creatures are hermaphrodites, which means they start their lives as males, which are half the size of females, and actually switch genders later on in their life cycle. The parasites start their quest by swimming inside of a fish's gills. They attach themselves to the gills until they are matured enough. After a certain amount of time, they will change their gender from male to female and climb their way to the fish's mouth. Using her incredibly strong hind legs, the louse then secures herself to the fish's mouth. The louse then pierces the fish's tongue with her powerful bite. After she makes an incision, she starts to suck the blood. This eventually leads to the depletion of all the blood in the fish's tongue. As a result, the tongue withers away and falls off. It then gradually replaces the fish's tongue with its own body, becoming the fish's new tongue. Intriguingly, this bizarre phenomenon creates a peculiar symbiotic relationship. The fish can still eat and function with the isopod in its mouth, while the parasite gains shelter and a continuous food source. Now, interestingly, if any males are still hanging out in the gill chamber, they will crawl up and mate with the female while she is still playing the role of the fish's tongue. Female crustacean then gives birth to a brood of male lice, which will disperse and continue the whole cycle. Not much else is known about these little critters, but they do have an influence on the lives of humans. Since Simothoa exigua are fairly widespread throughout the oceans, found in depths ranging from 2 meters to 60 meters, they have been commonly found in the mouths of fish we eat. Some lawsuits have even been filed against supermarket chains for customers buying fish with isopods in their mouths and cooking them without knowing, although the charges were dropped because their effects were not harmful for human consumption. In fact, besides them potentially biting you while they are still alive, they pose no threat to humans. So the next time when you're eating a fish, make sure to check for anything crawling inside its mouth.